I actually look forward to the airport now. I'm TSA pre-check. Anybody else? Yeah. That's right. yeah. yeah. If you haven't done it, if you're not familiar, it's a service where you pay, I don't know, like $100? to bring whatever drug you want on a plane. <laughs> it's incredible. I still put them on my butt, but that's for me. <laughs> that's my vacation. I'm still living out of a suitcase, found this shirt. I think it's cool, what do we think? Cool shirt? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna wear your skin like that shirt. <laughs> I think it's cool. Uh, I like buying clothes that are a little big for me. I think it looks all right, it's kind of my style. I think it's also because I'm an only child and it makes me feel like I have an older brother. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, cool shirt, sure, a little big though. I'm like, yeah, it's Christmas. <laughs> I hope to grow into it one day. Yeah. It's so nice to do this. This is my favorite thing to do, obviously, you know. I love stand-up. Stand-up's like really the only thing I've ever wanted to do. Uh, pretty much ever since I found out that a uh, boot job wasn't a career. <laughs> so, <yes. laughs> Figured I should change it around. I, I do need money though. This isn't a great job for that. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> I don't know. I had some friends for a while trying to get me into crypto. Glad I didn't do that one. Uh, I don't know. I was never sold on crypto. Uh, like new money? No, thank you. I haven't even figured out how to get the old kind, so. <laughs> and it was always my dumbest friends, too, who were trying to give me financial advice. They're always like, dude, you gotta get in the stock market. I was like, you got fired from the supermarket. <laughs> I don't know. Overall, I'm just trying to get, get better, you know, I'm trying to help your habits. Like, every morning, I wake up and I take an ice cold bidet. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Have you skip it or? Uh, my mom's trying to get me on this new diet. I am trying to get healthier. She's been doing it's called intermittent fasting. Anybody doing this one? Yeah, yeah. You know, I've been doing it. I've already lost about five pounds from around my eyes. I feel terrible. Uh, <laughs> you don't eat. That's it. It's the whole, there's no trick. Most diets, there's a gimmick, like don't eat carbs. This one's like, remember food? Stop. <laughs> That's it. My mom's super into it though. She has a whole crew of friends and they all intermittently fast together. It's just a hungry group chat. They're just like, have you eaten yet? No. Help. <laughs> Uh, she's so into it. She even has an app on her phone that keeps track of how long it's been since she's eaten and then when she'll get to eat again. Isn't that insane? Yeah, I mean, I use one too. It's just uh, Chase Mobile. <laughs> get to do it again. Oh, great. Oh, man. Thanks for coming back. Uh, I was killing. Um, <laughs> Oh, are you guys just meeting? Yeah. Hell yeah. I assume by the hats you were in some sort of crew. <laughs> Man, you guys are like a hipster Russian nesting doll. <laughs> and she's wearing a yarmulke, I'll shit my pants. <laughs> so I'm like, it's fun. Yeah. That's great. Um, I, back, I came back in town for the holidays. Um, I, uh, I grew up in like central Illinois. I've got a very small older family. Like my dad is about to turn 75, my grandma's 99, and like I said, only child. Uh, yeah, so that means I was just buying gifts that I'm gonna get back. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon, you know? It's a tough way to shop. You really gotta think ahead. I hope my grandma likes the Entourage box set. Because that's <laughs> My, uh, my dad, he's an older dad. He was like 45 when I was born, so he had like a whole life before me, you know? And uh, my dad sells fireworks in central Illinois, so we were doing okay. <laughs> yeah, we were doing all right. I still got all my fingers, too. What's up? A king back there. Uh, so he really liked to entertain. We had this big basement. He would fill it with games like uh, pool, air hockey, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, one time he showed up with a Playboy pinball 
machine that would moan when you hit the buttons? <laughs> So let's just say from 2008 to 2011, I was pretty into pinball. <laughs> you know, just walking downstairs with quarters and lotion, like squeezing. <laughs> <the buttons. laughs> let's see if I can make it tilt. <laughs> I did. Uh, <laughs> it's cool living in New York, coming from such a small town, though, because uh, it's so hard to succeed. You know, I lived in Chicago for four years, though, well, and. Uh, Anything I do because it's in a big city, back home is amazing, you know? It's amazing. I've worked shitty jobs. People back home are like, y'all hear Eric's moving furniture and New York's in it? <laughs> like, just last week, he done walked a dog with a middle name. <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I was back with the family though, gotta get back into therapy now. Anybody else feeling that? Is anybody emailing their therapist at dinner? Uh, I know you're out of the office, but uh, this is good. Really I like therapy. Therapy's so good. Uh, I have really bad insurance, so I have to pay full price. And that just shows how good therapy is, because I pay well over $100 per session to talk about how I'm stressed about money. Worth it, worth every penny. I do Zoom therapy. Um, but I started in person, Zoom during the pandemic, still do it. I don't mind it, but you know, there's a disconnect. So something I do to kind of keep it fresh for me is every now and then I'll change the Zoom background to like the ledge of a building. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put like a fan on my head. <laughs> She's like, so how's it been? I'm like, it's been a pretty weird week actually. <laughs> <laughs> Got a full price, I'm getting that money's worth. You know? <laughs> You gotta go to therapy. I'm trying not to be one of these uh, toxic men, you know, toxic masculinity. I don't want that. Yeah, it's bad, you know, it's a real thing. There's, uh, like, guys, I don't even know this, men are killing themselves, like, at a crazy high rate. They hold everything in, and yeah, it sucks. And I know I'm a little toxic, because I, when I heard that, first thing I thought was, Tam, the only thing that can kill us is us. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I totally believe in it as a concept. I do hate the name. I hate toxic masculinity. That sucks. Um, it's too many syllables. Uh, <laughs> the people you're trying to get to aren't gonna respond to that. <laughs> For real, you know? If you wanna change these people, you gotta use words that will affect them, you know? Like, call it gay, like that. <laughs> But like, yeah, I hear you yelling at your wife's for big old homos. Like, oh, yeah. 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 I'm a uh, I'm a straight guy. <laughs> Should have mentioned it up top. Uh, straight white guy. You know, people tell me all the time, they're like, well, Eric, you're a straight white guy. You gotta make sure other straight white guys get better. And I'm like, sure. But people don't like it when we have meetings. <laughs> I organized one, it made the news. <laughs> <laughs> and I am, uh, I'm seeing a, a woman right now, pretty cool. It's a good relationship, real nice. Um, you ever been in a relationship so good that you can already like feel the spiral that's gonna happen if it goes south? <laughs> I'm like, damn, if this ends, I'm getting an earring. <laughs> she's, uh, she's Jewish, real cool, I'm not. We get to teach each other things sometimes. The other day we were in a bar and a priest walked into the bar, already fine. And, <laughs> and she looks at me, she goes, wow, I didn't know priests could drink. And I was like, yeah, they can fuck kids. 